like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 37 says, let f be a linear function. So it's got a constant rate of change. It's degree 1. When f of x is divided by x minus 3, the remainder is 5. When f of x is divided by x minus 4, the remainder is 3. What is the value of f of 0? So this is a very strangely worded problem. Um, I don't think, unless you've been exposed to the remainder theorem, you're really going to have a good idea on how to do this, even if you know how to divide uh, polynomials. So I mentioned the remainder theorem. Let me go ahead and throw it up here so you can see exactly what it's saying. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just read this. The remainder theorem tells that, us that in order to evaluate a polynomial at some number, say just a, we can instead divide the linear expression x minus a. And the remainder, here's the key point here, the remainder r of a gives the value of the polynomial. Okay, so basically what this is saying is that if you divide f of x by x minus 3 and the remainder is 5, what that's telling us is that f of 3 is 5. Okay, so I know that's not super obvious, but um, that's, that is a consequence of this little remainder theorem here. So if... Um, if we divide this unknown polynomial function by x minus 3, the remainder is 5. That's telling us that we basically have a coordinate at 3, comma 5. The 3 is coming from this expression x minus 3. Um, if you set that equal to 0 and solve it, you'll get the x value. And then the y coordinate that's associated with it is equal to the remainder when you divide by that binomial. So it also says that when f of x is divided by x minus 4, the remainder is 3. So that tells us that f of 4 equals 3. We've got a coordinate now at 4, comma 3. Now, in the beginning of the problem, it said this was a linear function. So we know that this function has a constant rate of change. So we can um, kind of set up a table here and work backwards to get um, to f of 0. You could alternatively come up with an equation with these two points. But I think since these numbers are so close together, it's probably just easier to construct a table and work backwards. Okay, because what we're interested in is what is the value of f of 0? In other words, what's the y coordinate when x is 0? So if I just construct this table real quick, and I can start plugging in the values I already know, okay, um, I know that, for instance, when x is 3, y is 5, and when x is 4, y is 3. So I can um, basically just work this table backwards. You can see that the rate of change here is minus 2. So working backwards here, I would add 2, do the opposite of that. So 3, 5, 7, 9, and then up here would be 11. Okay, and you can see that this pattern works, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. It's a linear pattern. And so the value of f of 0 is 11. Okay, this is not a super obvious problem, um, how, to, how to approach it. But if you recognize, if, you're, if, if you work these kind of problems out a couple times, you're gonna, uh, you'll recognize it when it comes time to the, for the test, and you should be able to answer it pretty easily. As you can see here, the algebra is you know, really non-existent. There's no manipulation of variables here. Um, arithmetic is very minor, just adding two. Um, the real difficulty comes into play when you just uh, have to figure out what, what are you supposed to do in this problem? You know, what is it actually telling you? And uh, the, it, the key here is, is understanding the remainder theorem. So this is going to be our answer here, and we can find the value of f of 0 and choice D here. So yeah, 37 is letter D. Um, that's it for number 37. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.